What's going on y'all, VNNCC3 here, bringing you another Lords Mobile video, and in this video, we'll be talking about the best talent setups for war, farming, and turtling, so stay tuned. Don't be afraid. Let's go ahead and start off with the war talent setup, but before we get into that guys, a huge disclaimer I want to put out there is that I only use this setup if I'm in full on attack mode, otherwise I use either the farming talents or the turtling talents, but let's go ahead and pick up all of the squad offense. Number one thing you guys really want to do here is anything that says army on it, you want to max out. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to save you a buttload. I actually don't even pick up the training speeds, to be honest with you, unless I have extra points left over. But let's go ahead and get all these rest of these points here. And blah, 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 blah. Keep going down. I know, guys, you're like, get it done with it already. Damn. All right. So, look, it says army right there on the defense. So, we're going to go ahead and pick that talent up, and we're going to max it out. And, again, I'm on my free-to-play uh, account. I don't know if I said that at the very beginning of the video, but I am on my free-to-play account. So the talent points that I have aren't going to be nearly as much as on my level 60 account. So let's go ahead and max out the squad health because, again, it says Army Max HP. So we're going to max this out as well. Keep going down. Put five points, guys. And I forgot to mention, only put the minimal points it's needed to move down, especially at these level 1s, even at the level 2 talents. I mean, unless you literally specialize in, like, infantry... I wouldn't recommend maxing any of these out. Um, and not like until you get to the level threes. But even then, I'm only going to put five points in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And five more points in. Here we go. Keep going. Five points. Blah, 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 blah. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and max out all of the squad health because it says army max HP. The reason why we are maxing out all of the squad health and the squad defense is because it's going to help us um, greatly reduce the amount of casualties that we actually suffer. And now, um, you know, I'm going to have, what, a couple of points left over here. Come on, let me max this out. Sorry for the mouse clicks you guys hear in the background. I'm on my blue stacks. Um, so, you know, I, I, I record on blue stacks in case you guys were curious. And the biggest reason why I do that is so that my videos come out a lot better, a lot more smooth. I don't know. It just makes more sense to me to do that. But I've got 50 point, I got 55 points left, and i got a choice here. I can either max out a level 3 t uh, talent, or I can go ahead and pick up the training speed. Most players will actually pick up the training speed. So we'll go ahead and we'll max this out at 35. And then we'll go ahead and pick up the training speed 1 as well. Because we'll have points, right? There's 20 points left over. And it's going to only cost us 18 altogether. So let's go ahead and put 3 into there. And then go ahead and put 15 points into this right here. The training speed 1. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Then you've got uh, two points left over. So um, I'm trying to think here. What, uh, what exactly would you put these two points into? Well, that's really up to you. For me, I, I, I specialize in, in infantry on my free-to-play account, so I'm going to go ahead and put them into infantry. But, like, on my main account, right, I would not, I would not get the training speed 1 or 2 because I'm not planning on making a ton of troops while I'm attacking. Because of the new infirmary status, right, I only suffer 40% of the losses versus 100% of the losses. So, um, I'm more inclined to attack somebody at, like, 60,000 might, or my bad, 60 million might, or 70, even, maybe even 70 million might, but, you know, by clashing in my troops and against them. So, what I'll do is I'll not even put these 35 points here, or these 15 points up into the training speed 1. What I'll actually do is I'll actually max out probably, um, probably my infantry offense 3, and most of my ranged offense 3. Um, again, I wanted to show you guys this on a lower account, because I know the majority of the people who view my videos are probably between the levels of 40 and 58. 59 and 60 is kind of more of a paid aspect of the game. Um, but let's go ahead and reset these talents, and we're going to go ahead and show you guys my farming talent setup. Now, my farming talent setup is literally um, what I'm almost always in right now on my main account. And the biggest reason why I'm in my farming talent setup isn't because I need the actual resources themselves. It's because I need the uh, rare uh, the rare ingredients. When you go to your workshop, then you go to your cabinet here, you go to your material fusion, and these are the materials I'm talking about. I actually need these kinds of materials to build my relics up, right? Let me go to there, go to the cabinet. So all the relics you see right here... All of these require the special kinds of materials I'm talking about. So right now, like, I'm farming platinum or, like, I'll farm minerals or whatever. But you get them from, like, the rich veins and the rocks and, well, this one is from fields. But anyways, I'm sorry to detract from the video, guys. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a more of an insight and in why I do that. So when I'm in my farming field, I still want to be able to make troops, okay? Um, I'm not exactly... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not exactly sheltered, you know, I kind of want to still expand, so let me go like this. I'm going to put 
as minimal points as possible to move down. So two points into that, three points into cavalry offense one, three points into trap building one, then I'm going to max out my training speed one. Um, again, guys, I always make troops when I'm in either turtling or farming, so I will always max out these points, the training speeds. But usually when I'm in my full-on blowing attack, I only put as many points as possible until I get down to like where the other like level 3 talents are, like for the attacks and stuff. But let's continue on, right? Who knows? Maybe I'll edit the audio, maybe I won't. You know, just, just to, you know, keep going, right? So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and max out the training speed two. I almost said three. Training speed two. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing this without a script. And normally in all of my videos, I usually script what I'm going to say. And I don't know if you guys pick up on that or not. But I try really hard to make sure I don't like ramble on or any of that other stuff, right? Because people tell me I do that quite often. And so I'm trying to stop that. So here we go. We're gonna put two points, as minimal points again as possible to get the food production, as minimal points to move down. Now here's the difference, okay? between my farming build and my turtling build. My turtling build, I will actually max out construction speed one and research speed one, but I go to my farming build when I have days on my construction or research. Like right now, it's gonna take me over a day on my siege durability. I don't even bother putting any points into those talents because I'll go ahead and respec eventually. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave those out just for video purposes, guys. You're probably gonna be like, VNNCZ3, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to be like, you know, guys, look, just go with it, all right? I promise you guys, you know, a lot of players do what I'm doing right now just because they're trying to min-max. And what that means is they're trying to use as minimal points as possible to max out exactly what they're trying to do. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm only putting as minimal points as possible in order to max out what I'm needing. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and max out my gathering too because this is going to give me 100% more gathering speed. And you guys find that out by clicking the eye right here and going all the way down to 100%. See that? So let's go here. Come on, come on, come on. Max it out, max it out. Normally, and I would normally edit all of that stuff out, by the way, like I'm doing right now, just to save time on the video. But here we go. I'm going to ignore all of these, by the way. I would normally max out my gold production, but that's going to be on my turtle strategy, or my turtle uh, my turtle talents. But we'll go ahead and get that in a little bit. Um, and here we go. Uh, I got to put five points into the um, max load one before I can max out gathering one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and max out all my gathering like so, and then I'm going to go to my max load uh, two at first. Always get your always get your level twos or level threes first, the highest tier first, because it's always going to give you the highest bonus. Like, this one is 100%, and I think the level one only gives you, like, 20% or something like that. So, I'm going to max this all the way out right here, guys, and then I'm going to go down, back down to the max load one, and put my remainder points in, see? Yeah, there we go, 17% 17, 17 or whatever the case may be. So I use this build in particular when I'm trying to gather all of those special resources, or if I just generally need to farm more resources, I will send troops out just like that. You know, if I need way more ore, or even way more gold, or whatever the case may be, I will use this build because it maximizes all of the full potential. Now on my level 60 account, I have way more points available, and so I will keep points into like my research too, and my research one and I'll max those two out because I'm constantly doing research on my main account because that's the way you build your might you know you always want to have a really high core might but let's go ahead and reset this and let's go ahead and get onto the turtle build so just like the farming build I'm going to max out all of my training speeds and the biggest reason why like I said guys is because you almost always want to be building troops now for me on my free to play account I have no need whatsoever um, to to build this you know I have no 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 desire whatsoever um, to build troops because I want to make sure that my might stays super low one so players don't bug me and two um, you know, because I don't want to have to deal with the hassle of having to regrow or basically heal up all of my troops constantly. So I only keep as many troops. Oh, damn it! I hate that when I double click sometimes. Uh, so anyways, that's supposed to be five points, not six, but it's, let's keep going, right? Um, so yeah, on, on my, on my, on this account, on my free to play account, I actually don't even put any points into my training speed, which is kind of funny, right? I disbanded all of my military and then I built it back up to 28.5 thousand. And I'll go into that in a different video why I did that, but let's go ahead and put two points into there, two points into here. We're going to max out our construction speed one, come down here, max out our construction, sp or my bad, my research speed one, put two points into there, two points into the ore production, five points, sorry about that, five points into my uh, food production. 
five points into the uh, other production, the stone, now the ore. Now I'm going to max out the construction speed too as well, because again, I'm turtling, right? I want to make sure that I, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I want to make sure that 100% all of my talents are being spent as wisely as possible. And so minus that one goof up point, bleh, you know, that's what I'm going to say here. Uh, minus that one goof up point, it's whatever. Now, here's the thing, right, guys? When you're turtling, you're not really trying to gather resources. You're not trying to really do much of anything. You're just trying to protect yourself. That's all you're trying to do. You're not trying to expand and attack people and do all that stuff. So normally, I will go to my buildings, right? I'll go to my castle and I'll say, okay, guys, look. I build 96.3k um, wood per hour, um, 88.1 thousand, uh, I know, right, thousand uh, stones per hour, and only 66,000 ore. So I will actually go to my talents and I'll even those out, or I'll actually max out my gold because my gold is only 36. So what I'll actually do right now, and that depends on you guys, right? These last few points, do what you want to do with them, but I normally come up over here. And I put all of them into my gold production 3. Don't do gold production 2 or gold production 1 unless that's what you're doing. And so here we go. 76%. Now, that's kind of whatever. But my normal build, guys, and I'm going to show you guys this. This is what I like to call um, production build. Or I don't really don't, I really don't got a name for it. You know, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments what I should call this build. Um, because uh, it's kind of weird, right? Now, let me go over here. Come on. Let me get two points. I leave the entire left side alone. I put two points into here, two points into there, two points into there. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. So I get five more points up into here. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, it's so boring. But I'm like, guys, listen. I understand it's, bo I understand it's boring and you guys just want to hear the statistics. This is why this. This is this, this. But, you know, I decided to try something a little bit different. I, try I decided to do a video that's not heavily edited. Um, I don't know why. I just decided to. So... Let's go ahead and do it like this. Now, here we go. I'm going to put five points into gathering two, five points into the food production three, five points into this. Now, here we go. Now, I told you guys, right? When I have so many days left on my research and my repair or my bad, my research and my construction, I actually ignore, 100% ignore um, all of these um, like constructions and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get them up right now. Come on, get up. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Got them all. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put five points into my ore production three. And I'm going to go ahead and max out my gold production three. Now, I normally have as much gold production as possible on this account. And, I, man, I get bombed in the background. I hate this, man. And if you guys are curious to know, man, uh, I'm going to be moving here probably in about uh, a little bit about uh, two weeks. A little bit less than two weeks into my house. Because um, I'm, I'm buying a house, right? Congratulations, VNN. You know, um, and so yeah, the audio will be way better, way, way, way better. And so I've got 44 points left, guys. So I picked up gold production one, I mean, my bad, three, two, and I will pick up gold production one as well. Because again, I'm trying to like produce as much gold as possible because research is super expensive. And not only that, but then giving extra gold to your guild members is always a really good thing. So 125 gold per hour, that's really not that bad. I'll come back into here and I'll figure 29 points and I'll actually just put them all into ore production for the most part because I want all of my buildings to produce about the same amount of resources and the ore is actually my least amount of resource that I produce outside of everything else. So 101 wood, um, let's see here, 88, uh, my bad, 88 stones and 103 ore. So, you know, I could have taken some points out of the ore, put it into the stone, kind of mix and match them, whatever the case may be. But these are the talent setups I actually use. I really do hope this video has helped a lot of people out. And if you like this video, then hit that like button and don't forget to tell a friend. I cover a lot of things in Lords Mobile, all the way from free to play, which is kind of ending at this point. But don't worry, guys. I will start a new series sometime in the next, uh, you know, probably about a couple of weeks from now, somewhere in that ballpark range. But I also cover really high-end gameplay. So if you're new to my channel and you want to be notified when I upload videos, then hit that subscribe button. But if you're already a subscriber, guys, all I'm going to say is thank you so much for the crazy amount of support i'm getting guys i'm reading all the comments shout out to you guys thank you guys so much for all that stuff but y'all know what i'm talking about though love peace and chicken grease be safe but above all stay classy